like a bargain as much as I do. How about a BOGO sale? Woohoo! This kit, this video is going to be how to stretch your kit, get more bang for your buck, and I'm going to show you some alternate cards and do just that. Welcome, welcome, my crafty friends. I'm Dawn, creator of DD Creates Crafts, and this is the channel for simple cards, helpful hints, and duplicatable projects you'll be able to make just for watching one of my videos. Are you ready for some crafty fun? Come on in. I'm gonna turn the camera down now and we will get started. Make sure you can see good. I think it looks good. So first what I wanna introduce you to is Stampin' Up's got a whole bunch of kits. These are not the subscription kits. These you just order individually. This particular one we're going to make is a birthday card kit. So if we can stretch two of these kits, it pretty much basically gives you about 24 cards, 24, yeah? So about two cards a month that'll last you the entire year. So these are the two card designs. If you are a brand new crafter, this is what you start with. Follow the directions to the letter, do nothing else. In this video, probably you'll enjoy it, but it's not necessarily for you at this time. However, the benefits of kits, y'all, it's for new crafters, it's for um, RV, camping travelers, it is for the business uh, boss babe that's in the hotel room with nothing to do, needs a little stress-free, relaxing activity. Everything you need is in this kit. You don't even need to pack your scissors. This is fun to do with family members, neighbors, and right now, in the month of June, these kits are BOGO. Order one, get one half off. Buy one, get one half off. What? So that's when you get two of these, you get a bargain. Or order a couple. I'll put a list below of the kits I'm gonna be featuring this entire month. So here's your instruction sheet. Again, if you are brand new, never made a card, wanna learn how, or just aren't confident in your skills yet, yet, you can just follow this uh, detailed, pictured instruction sheet. And look what comes in it. You get ink. You get a stamp set. These are your adhesives. They're miniature glue dots. You get bling. You get envelopes. Oh, you get an acrylic block to hold your stamps. Then you get the pretties to put on top of your base cards. Yes, you get base cards. And gorgeous decorated envelopes. Then all the little pieces to stamp your sentiments in three different colors. So... Let's get started. I want to introduce you to the kit. Oh, let me get these out. We're going to need these guys. Okay, let me put my box away. You can use it for storage. You can use it for organizing, but you get the box to keep with your kit as well. Did I mention the kit is only 19? This particular kit is only 19. I, I just can't even get over that. Some of the kits, depending on the project, will go like the range will go up to 25. But we'll talk about that too, because some of those are just incredible. A picture frame, what? Yeah, we're gonna talk about the magnetic board, because yes ma'am, yes sir, we're gonna make one. All right, this is a base card, so let's get on to the first of your three designs I have for you. I'm calling this my Daffodil Delight card, because that's one of the colors of this, the little dots, guys, are the Daffodil Delights, and the other one, I believe, is the Mango Melody. You know what we're gonna do? On your little fold or crease line, we are, score line, we're gonna glob it right in half. Now your card base is two beautiful layers. So let me pull out one of the cards and let me show you what I did. If you remember, we have this pretty that came in the kit. You know what I did? I cut it in half. So I'm gonna show you, I did one on the Melody, Melody Mango, Mango Melody, base and the other on the Daffodil Delight. So I'm gonna put that right there for your uh, reference and then we'll make one together. So already by cutting this in half, we've turned one into two. If you do that with all your cards, boom! So many cards. So we've got the base. I want you to make a base out of any color of your choice. So that's gonna be your standard here in the US A2 card. Your five and a half by eight and a half cardstock score at four and one quarter. 
So I've got two bases and I'm gonna show you the two cards. This is one. Now what are we gonna do with our layers? We are gonna cut these into five and a quarter. So I am gonna lob a little, little bitty bit off. And my friend Peggy, she's one of our subscribers. She just told me, save these strips. She actually decorates, which, y'all, I could have had a V8. She decorates the inside of her cards with the miscellaneous strips like this. Lighter concept, concept, cardstock that I can see. I will not add a white layer because I just want to uh, not have extra cardstock and you can just write on it with a pen. Dark, dark, dark cardstock. I do add a liner of white and then we can decorate with the strip with or without the white. Beautiful. So I just thought that was genius. I so appreciate it when you all either email me or comment below with your suggestions because, oh boy, oh boy, do I use them. I get so many good ideas from so many of you. Uh, Gloria, Mary, so many of you are so kind and gracious to share your ideas and your tips with me that have already worked for you. And uh, just by putting it in the comments section, I help, I feel like it helps all of us on the DD Creates Crafts community. So be sure to read additional comments in addition to your own, in addition to mine, because our crafty friends on this channel are geniuses. They are so creative, so crafty. I just learned so much from you guys as you do hopefully from me as well. Now these are some of the stickies I got in the kit as well. They're more than just, they're foam, but they're more than just the foam dimensionals. These are strips, which makes it very nice for getting in the nooks and crannies right there between our candles even. So this particular one, I've pre-cut everything and I've done some assembly required because I want this video to go smoothly and I want it to go fast and nice and smooth for us. I am, for time's sake, if you don't mind, instead of using the mini glue dots that come in the kit, I'm just gonna use my adhesive glue because it goes faster for, for me, but I like our videos to be just compact, concise, almost like the Reader's Digest of the crafting world. So sometimes I'll do some of my little prep beforehand, like I had already adhered this together. So I'm just gonna adhere that flat. This is all done for us. There's the match. Maybe it went this way, I don't remember. Yep, looks like that makes more sense. But I cut it in half, put it together, and now I have two pieces of beautiful, beautiful, I don't know if you'd call this ephemera because it's raised. Y'all tell me if we can call it ephemera. What would we call this, an embellishment? Whatever we call it, it's so beautiful. I am gonna pop that up as well, my little sentiment. And the strip came in the kit, y'all. Some of my strips here, you'll see, I did cut them in half. Again, I am just stretching some of the tools that already came in our beautiful and affordable kit. Will that rock on me? I think it'll be okay. I think. So let's rip this off. This is two-sided in case you've not worked with dimensionals before. And I'm gonna just put this towards the top. You put it as high or as low as you want. You, again, use the mini glue dots that came in your kit but just for speed of our time together, I'm gonna use my own glue dots. So I've made a little bow. I can put the bow anywhere. You can put your bow anywhere. I think I did do it on that side. So I'm gonna level it here, close to my sentiment. And then to put in my envelope, I can just tuck that little tail inside my envelope, but that looks so cute. This bling, I use the hexagons. These are actually on sale right now, and they're in the mini catalog. So I will put those below for you. And this is some more fun bling. I just thought, oh, let's get several pieces of bling in here and just really enjoy ourselves and see a variety of uh, things we can do to personalize our cards a little more. So that is what I'm calling your Daffodil Delight card. So kind of a two-stepper, creating your base, cutting your um, 
embellishment in half, and then adhering your layers together, okay? Now, let me put this guy aside, and let me ask you a question. Are you having fun? Did you learn something yet? If you have, go ahead and go boop and hit the like button for me and uh, show me some love and that helps our YouTube show this video to more crafty friends so we can help enlarge our community. All right, I have got another base card for us, which if you're a beginner, you're gonna use as is. However, if you're here to use learn some alternate cards, we're gonna cut it in half again. But if you've noticed already, because I've got some smart campers out there, do you realize you can use this kit for scrapbooking as well? Wouldn't this make a gorgeous framed layer for a four by six card or a three by five card uh, picture? I forget the actual dimensions. The other thing you can do, two things, with the envelope, you can cut off the flap, use that to decorate, and now you've got a cute pocket you can tuck your journal card into, or even some little mementos, souvenirs that you're saving, like maybe theater tickets, what have you. And if you are making junk journals, I know my gifted friends out there will know how to make a junk journal using all these envelopes. Beautiful, they're, oh, they're just beautiful envelopes, and I know you can use this kit for that as well. So I'm just gonna lob this in half. I'm calling this my Knight of Navy card for obvious reasons. The base is the Knight of Navy color. So I've cut our two layers in half. We're gonna put this one aside and use layer later, use layer. So then I'm gonna cut this in half again. This I'm calling my Coastal Cabana polka dot. So we are gonna cut this in half. Let me see, let me see what my layers are. Yeah, five and a half. So this one is going to be mm -hmm, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So I've already got my four and a quarter. So let me turn it this way and I'm gonna cut it at two and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut that little guy in half. And again, right now, we're gonna use both of these for the next card. So put this one aside, because I'm gonna show you the next card and how we're gonna make it. And we're gonna work with this one. So I just told you the measurements, four and a quarter by two and three quarters. We're using both pieces for both cards. That is your step one. We've just completed it between this and making your base. Step two, I want you to cut a white layer the same size as we cut the polka dot. So your white layer, you're gonna also cut at four by two and three quarters. If you want, you can even cut it at four and a quarter by two and three quarters, just to give you a little more room to slide under, because we don't, we're not gonna have this white part show. Now, we're gonna get at and have some fun with some of our stamps. There's my baby glue dots. And for this particular one, we're gonna do the polka dots. Well, look at this. Those are the polka dots. It came as a stamp in our kit. So I'm gonna turn it over, attach it to the clear block, came in the kit. You get tired of hearing that yet? I hope not because I love me an all-inclusive kit. And this is a scrap paper, but I just wanna show you how cute and fun the um, dots are and they just look like splatter, they just look like dots, and I just wanted to show you how cute and fun they are to actually do your stamping with. You could, which you'll see on the other card, mix your colors and do some with a Coastal Cabana and some with Knight of Navy to match your cardstock. No matters, you're gonna customize it for yourself. Now, if you make this card for yourself, would you show me a picture of it? I love, love, love hearing about the fact that you do use these videos and do make things that I demonstrate. That just touches my heart. I love, love, love to hear that. And I thank you. Either post it on your own social media and do a hashtag, D, hashtag DD Creates Crafts, or shoot me an email with some pictures, or even just um, post it to DD Creates Crafts um, Instagram page, or even... Facebook page. I'm on Pinterest as well. I'm not sure we can post um, 
pictures. I honestly don't know. So you can help me with that. So I'm going to bring in, I've already, is this the one? Oh, I did. You know what? This is the one. So I've pre-stamped to show you what we're making, and I did do the two colors to show you a little variation in how one looks versus the other. Now, I made a couple boo-boos. I am going to show it to you. See those slashes? That's where I got a little too close to the ink with the edge of my acrylic block. But instead of doing it over because I'd already done it over, this is my second attempt, check this out. I can basically cover most of it up with my little decorative stripes and strips. So this piece, here comes the fun part. Can you see that's ripped? Now let me share with you. You see how my ripped looks, you don't see any white. It's ripped, but it's smooth. You only see the color. Here's your secret for that. You rip away from you. So I'm gonna rip just a little bit. I'm starting as close to the edge as humanly possible and I am ripping away from me. And I try to make it a little varied because I like highs and lows, you know? And then when I layer it, up, oh, I gotta lob some of that off. When I layer it, now if you rip let me see, we ripped away towards you, you're gonna, this is the effect you're gonna get. So ripping towards you, you get some white showing, which this is a nice look as well, especially if you're making waves, not with this card, but with another card. All right, so this one, I do need to lob off a little bitty bit. It looks like about a quarter of an inch. Now for my sweet friends across the pond, you're gonna notice I've got my centimeters here. And uh, I don't know why. I just don't pay attention to details sometimes. Isn't that a hoot? For somebody with uh, attention to details, there's certain details I just, it, they just go beyond, they just leave me. But I'm hoping it's fun for y'all that use uh, let me glue. I get so quiet when I concentrate, it just makes myself laugh. All right, pretty, right? So let me see what your next step is. Step two, I did die cut these. So step two is to cut, I did the dies, the rectangle dies, because I love that little stitching effect. But either way, you just cut some strips and you're gonna cut strips at, did I write that down? I did. One and one quarter by three and one quarter. And then we're gonna adhere them, one overlapping each other, but on our card right there. And I did do these flat as well. So your step two was to cut and rip and stamp your white layer. Step three is adhere the white layer to your base and then add the ripped paper on top. So we're caught up. Step four is to make your strips. I'm calling them strips. Technically they're rectangles. I am gonna cover up my boo-boos as best as humanly possible. And add my other strip. And I'm just using the coordinating paper that matches my base and in addition matches the, uh, the pretty paper itself. They're just flat, they're just overlapping. That's all there is to it. Now I wanna show you something else cute. These come in your kit. The little circle comes in your kit. I've pre-stamped it, but let me show you a little cutesy way. Let's make this bigger and let's make it cuter. So I'm gonna cut the second one in half. Now I'm gonna use my dimensionals. My strips have left my vision, there they are. So I'm gonna do some strippy strips. What I want is it to layer underneath each other like that. Now these are pull apart, so you may get a little thread of not even a thread, a little dot of the white. And uh, you can cut them off as best you can. Is that too long? If it's too long, it won't matter because we can, let me peek at it. Nope, 
It looks good to me. I'm gonna do a couple of these. I did not want to pre-do these. I do like to pre-do some stuff and just talk about it to speed up our videos. Remember my uh, Reader's Digest condensed version? <laughs> but this, I really wanted you to see it in action, the actual cutting of the uh, banners, this little guy. That does look too long. I'm gonna give it a little haircut. Layer down right there. Oh, you know what I did? That'll be okay. Should I do that flat? You know what I did was put it on the wrong side, but I'm kind of liking it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Because I do want it popped up as well. So we can fix mistakes. I told my bestie that one of my superpowers, my main superpower is I can fix any mistake. I'm gonna claim it as a superpower, you guys. Okay, there. So this side, let me add a little more, because I was, uh, this was my original intent. Whoa, Nelly. So I'm kind of eyeball it, see if I get it about the same distance. But look how it just expands. That'll be, need to cut. Showing, oh Lord, help me, I ripped it. All right, send up a silent prayer that it doesn't show, and it does. There, I can fix it a little bit. All right, let me put that down. My stars and garters, here we go. I tell myself I like when I make the mistakes for you. I mean, I don't like making my mistakes, but I tell myself it's good for you to see how I fix my mistakes, because I do fix them off camera, but if you don't see me fix it, you won't learn how to fix it either, even though my smarter people, and all of you are my smarter people. I almost said, because you chose to subscribe to this channel. That does not sound humble. Is that gonna be enough? I feel I need one more layer, or do I? Yep, I do. I am now in the middle of this, you guys, putting three, count them three, thingamabobbies, dimensionals. All right, so now I've got that pretty raised banner. I will put some glue on that, but I found if I put my rip over top that it's not messing it up. Let me flip this around so I can see where I wanna put all this good stuff. So I'm gonna put it about there. And then my pretty adorable little sentiment. There we go. I'm gonna hear it down flat because I've got so much going on and so much raised with the banner. And then I did make a little, I made a knot, because you know what I was feeling with this? Yes, there's a couple pink dots, but I'm feeling like this could possibly, probably be a masculine card. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section, do you feel like this could pass as a masculine card or no because of the pink dots? I just think manly men and our metro business guys that are styling, I'm thinking they can all handle some pink polka dots. That's what I'm thinking. All right, that is done. So here's the two. Let's add us a little bling, because we can. And I've got my funky fun stuff right here. Gorgeous. I think, oh, that's so pretty. Where should we put some bling, you guys? I think this I'll do a little differently. Ooh. I, uh, all right, I felt like that was too big. So let's do one right there. And, ooh, I think I'll do that. One right there. We want a triangle and we want three or five or seven. You want an odd number and you want a triangle look because that just draws the eye in and I tend to put at least one near my focal point, which in this case is my sentiment. So I'll put those aside. 
Here we go. I wanna put them all together because I'm gonna pull them all in at the end. Now remember, we saved this one, that little layer, which is really half a layer. Okay, here is your next card. So I'm calling this card Coastal Cabana because that's the color I used for the base. So this one, I'm gonna bring in all my moving pieces. And I've pre-cut everything. And I will give you my measurements. I did pre-stamp. And look, I have a boo-boo, so we're gonna cover that up. But I did wanna share with you on some scrap paper that this is Shea Dorbs as well as the little polka dotties. Now, I wonder why I get marks. Hello. Aren't they stinking cute? So let's see how they look in blue, and then we'll move on with our card. I didn't do it dark enough, but oh my stars. Look at that hot mess, you guys. Hot mess. All right, close this up so I don't make a bigger mess. Do you guys do that? You get in your, oh, you get it on your fingers, and then you know what I'll do is it'll rub off on my cards, and then I'm really not happy. Okay, but right now I'm happy. <laughs> All right, so you see I didn't stamp in the middle. You know why? We're gonna cover that right up with our beautiful centerpiece. A centerpiece. So let's see, with Coastal Cabana, you are gonna cut two and seven eighths by four and five eighths of Coastal Cabana, which is this, and it's gonna be the layer under our polka dots. So let's go ahead and adhere that down, and this is our step one for our third and final card of Coastal Cabana. The reason I started my DD Creates Crafts channel was to introduce myself to you and to introduce you to Stampin' Up! products like, like today's birthday kit and then show you how to use the products like the birthday kit and teach you how to make simple projects, simple cards. In this case, that will go beyond the kit and stretch it and save you some money and give you some extra fun because you're able to make more projects. And I'm hoping you'll be able to watch and recreate or copy anything I make on my channel. That's my hopes. And like I shared earlier, I adore hearing or seeing the projects that you make and knowing that you are using my videos. That just warms my heart. And that's my heart's desire, is that you use the goodies that you're learning and Good night, Job. All right, let me cut that right off. And I'll put that heifer in the middle. And look, I'm seeing more. Good grief. Missy crafting. All right, so let me peel, yeah, peel this off. While you're watching, I'll tell you about the next two steps, which is your step two for your third card. It is to cut two knight and navy pieces. One, two different sizes, so pay attention. The first one, three and three quarters by one and a half. The second piece, same color, four and three quarters by two. All right, so that's your, oh, I almost made a boo-boo. Thank goodness I looked down. I am a nut, you guys. You know I would have figured out some way to fix it, but I am a happy camper. <laughs> then I looked down, oh my stars. All right, this I did line up on the very edge. You don't have to. If you want to leave it a little margin on the edge right there, feel free to do that. Is that going to cover that up? Let me see if, how that opens. I may. I'm going to come this way. And I'm going to leave a margin. Just, let's do something where each card's a little different so that we can just test the waters and see how it's gonna look. And by doing that, I covered up one boo-boo and this is gonna cover up another boo-boo. A little smudgy right there, inky smudgy. All right, so this one I will put over here, but I'm gonna leave just a little margin. They're not quite the same size. They're 
kind of sort of angled, and then I'm going to come in with our center piece, which is raised with the dimensionals that come in the kit, your little strip dimensionals. All right, then I've got some sentiments. So your step three is cut, pull, let me see, cut, oh, it was the white. Cut the white piece, which I've already glued down, but the white piece is five and one quarter by four. Then stamp your stars in the two colors, on the outer edges definitely, but for the most part all over it, and then adhere it to the base. And then we're gonna work on adhering those and then applying that. Next, with the strips that come in your kit, I have gone ahead and pre-stamped some of the sentiments. This says, hip hip hooray, today is your day. Sentiments all come in your kit. So I have separated them, cut them up. I think hip hip hooray is one sentiment. So I went ahead and separated it because I just thought it'd be funky fun to have it separate. And I'm gonna put that at a little angle and you could do that as an angle too and do this one straight. Yep, I think I'm gonna, you guys. I originally was gonna do it straight, but I'll do the bottom one straight. And we can add a bow. You could either pre-add a bow onto this, which I was gonna do. I don't think I wanna do a bow though. I, I meant to put some ribbon underneath this, so if you like that, just know you can do that. But let's, for us, go ahead and add some of our balingi and um, move on with that. The other thing I was gonna play with, this might be fun. What if we use some different color bling? Let's use three of the colors. So we're gonna use a little baby pink dot. And let's do a baby yellow dot. They almost blend right in, but they're blingy, so they add some, oh my stars, I'm out of my tiny um, teal bling dots. That's hilarious. Now where do I want it? I think I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here, because it'd be fun, and it, again, emphasizes my card. So we have two versions of your third style card. Then we have the two versions of the second style card. And lastly, we've got a little slight different version because of the base colors with your first card. So, tell me, tell me, do you have a favorite? You knew I was gonna ask you. You knew I was. Remember, the kits are BOGO the entire month of June. I'm going to put the ones I'm demonstrating below because you may want to make them along with me is what I'm thinking. Did you tell me your favorite in the comment section? Also tell me, have you expanded your own kits before to make additional cards and projects? and scrapbook layouts and junk journals. And how did you stretch yours? Share some of your ideas with us. Did you just do stamp two different colors? Did you use two different color bases? Did you cut up some of the bling? Cut up some of the sentiments? Use different bling, add ribbon. What'd you do? Share that with us. Now I'm gonna turn the camera up now to say goodbye to you. And I want you to remember that. I'm gonna hold the card up. BOGO kits are BOGO in the month of June. I think I called them BOGO kits. Anywho, I want you to remember the kit sale of the BOGO. I want you to remember to hit subscribe. I want you to remember to like this video. And I most importantly want you to remember to come back and see me real soon. Thanks, you guys.